Okay, so it's time to uh, bake this little one. All right, Scotty, let's go to your shower. Come on, come on. Let's see if he's behaved. Come, Scotty. There's your shower over there. Come, come on. Very good. Very good. Come, come. Very good. He already knows. I think he's excited to take a shower because it's very warm. Come on, Scotty. Come on. Okay. Very good. He's such a good boy. You are so capable. Okay, wait, sis. Wow. You are ex are you excited to take a shower? Okay. Alright. Shower time little one. You are so behaved. You are so behaved. You are so behaved. Okay. Are you ready for your first uh tabo of water? to soak it as much as I can to cause uh, warmth and friction so you don't feel cold. You're a good boy, Scotty. You are a good boy. You're such a good boy. Such a good boy. Such a good boy. Very good. Such a good boy. Oh, yes.
his long hair for so long that I feel like he might be shocked without having um, that protection, that insulation. So I will give him some clothes after he's done drying up. But uh, Scotty has been such a behaved little puppy. Right? You are so behaved, little one. You are so behaved. <laughs> I love having a Pomeranian. They are so sweet. But um, Scotty is the feisty type if he doesn't know you. But uh, because he knows me and my family, he is just such a sweet dog. <laughs> Scotty showers, he loves to wipe himself on any fabric that he can find. So if he's on my bed, my bed is gonna get a lot of this uh, water. <laughs> having Pomeranians are high maintenance because I suppose if you love grooming them, cutting their hair, giving them baths, uh, trimming their hair, styling their hair, walking them out at least twice a day. My Pom loves to walk. He's quite active so I make sure I tire him out at least uh, twice a day for 30 minutes and sometimes I can walk him for an hour. If you're the busy type of person, this can seem like a lot of time so if you don't have that much time to give to your palm, then I would say uh, your palm would definitely be high maintenance. But for me, I absolutely enjoy taking care of Scotty. I bathe him, I, I, I groom him myself, and I do all, all the food preparation for him. I like to feed him human food. And when I say human food, no sugar, no salt, so a lot of boiled vegetables, hard-boiled egg, uh, boiled chicken and meat. So if you really have the time to take care of your dog, then having a palm is going to be very satisfying for you if you've taken a lot of uh, pleasure. And for me, it's absolutely therapeutic taking care of a dog, showing him so much love. And in return, it will be reciprocated. These palms are so sweet and at night, he actually stays there. <laughs> he sleeps beside me. So if you're the type that wants like an easy to maintain dog, I don't suppose you should even get a dog at all. <laughs> so yeah, there you have it. There is his lion hair. Look, are you happy little one? I might have to say here in the Philippines, we actually get a lot of fleas and ticks. So um, you can use this medicine called Frontline. And so yeah, it's good for one month and they all die. It's not the same kind of uh, ticks and fleas that you would find in the UK. In the UK, they actually uh, harm human beings. I think you get Lyme disease. But here, you don't actually get Lyme disease in the Philippines, so that's great. However, it's, you know, it's not good for the dog, uh, for them to have fleas and ticks. So um, I usually like to uh, shave Scotty's hair just to make sure he's clean and there aren't any ticks or fleas hiding in them. And then of course, I also put uh, Frontline, the, the medicine that kills them. Of course, since I sleep beside him as well, I also don't want to get his uh, ticks and, and fleas. So I make sure to make sure that he's always, always, always clean and tick free, flea free. So you could essentially spend hours and hours on your Pomeranian or dog if you really 
are the obsessive compulsive type. So right now I'm just really double checking every bit of uh, his hair just to make sure that I don't see any of those black creatures. So for now he is spotless except for this one bit. I used a soap that kills ticks and fleas. So right now they're dead. I'm just taking them off. It's just so much nicer to make sure that you know they don't have any dead fleas or, or ticks on them. So there you have it. <laughs> I'm not sure if you have the same problems in other countries, but I was told that in the UK you don't get fleas and ticks on dogs. So they, I think they go they go on humans. <laughs> so it's quite interesting to know. I suppose if Scotty lived in the UK, he could actually enjoy all his all his fur or his hair because it's colder there, number one. And number two, he won't be getting these problems of ticks and fleas. But here in the Philippines, definitely you have to keep an eye on your dogs. Make sure that their coat is healthy. They don't have any of these uh, uh, bastards. <laughs> Make sure they don't have any of these uh, these horrible creatures on them, right, Spotty Poo? Right, baby. Aww. Aww. You are so clean now. Let's just look at your tail one last time and your paws, and and you're done. You are so cute. If it's any consolation, at least you know that having a Pomeranian, they're tiny enough that you can actually scout their entire body. But yeah, again, you just want to make sure all these uh, little cr critters But yeah, you just want to make sure all these little critters are not in any sight So I'm just going through this tail And I can see he already has some here, but they're all dead because of the soap that I used And the soap is actually pretty good for, for its price It's like about 50 pesos, so that's less than a pound, which is amazing Or about one dollar but again, um, if you're really looking to um, if you're really looking to maintain your Pomeranian's uh, just overall well-being, <laughs> it's I, I I I would suppose it's manageable enough because they are tiny. However, they do get really fluffy, as you saw in this video earlier. So be sure to a lot time for them for proper caring, proper love.
you happy with your haircut? Do you like it? <laughs>